Hi Stampers, I'm Nancy Novak and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well today is my third video this week and this week I am featuring milestone birthday cards. So tonight we're going to make a 70s birthday card but of course you know you can always switch it up and put whatever number it is that you need and tonight we're going to use the beautiful balloons stamp set and the dies and this is a retiring product so if you are interested in it um, you have to grab it while you can it's available until the supply is gone or until april 30th so it's a great set and i'm also using the coordinating paper which is called bright and beautiful and this is the piece that we're going to use tonight um, normally I show you the card that we're making, but since I, um, I've used up so much of this paper, I don't have a lot of it left. So we're going to go ahead and make the card and you'll see it at the end. And I think you're really going to like it. It's a combination gift card holder and birthday card. So that's the paper we're going to use tonight. So our card base is lemon lime twist and it's 11 by four and a quarter and we're going to score it at five and a half. I have an inside piece of white that is five and a quarter by four. And then I have some designer series paper and I'm going to go ahead and cut some balloons out. So this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. I'm going to cut out three different size balloons. So as you can see, that is the designer series paper. The die set has several different balloons you can cut out. Um, we're going to, here's the largest one, but we're going to cut out uh, small, medium and large, but not the largest. Uh, so I'm going to cut out a berry burst one out of that designer series paper and azure afternoon and a lemon lime twist and also i have three pieces of cardstock in azure afternoon lemon lime twist and berry burst and i'm going to cut out some stars so the die set comes with some stars so i'm going to cut out one large one and two small ones and what else do we have so i have my deckled circles here so i have a larger deckled circle of lemon lime twist and a smaller one in the white and don't worry about the sizes because i always include project sheets for all of my um, projects all my cards and boxes and everything that i make and you can find my project sheets if you scroll down in the description below there's the word project sheet there's a link there or you can go directly over to my blog stampandshout.blogspot.com and that will lead you to your project sheet so i'm going to go ahead and cut out these smaller elements and then I'm going to show you how to best cut this piece of paper for our card so you don't waste any. So I will be right back. Remember, I fast forward, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so these are our elements that are going to go on our card. And I also cut out a couple of little streamers. That's also in the die set. And then ahead of time, I cut out with the alphabet die. Stampin' Up! has a couple of different alphabet dies. And I went ahead and I cut out the number 70. So we're going to use all of that on our card but that's later so we'll get that out of the way and we'll bring this piece in and we'll score it so it's 11 by four and a quarter and we are going to score it at two and a half and five and a half so we're going to go ahead and fold it in half and then we're going to fold this one down and that's how it's going to be folded Okay, but now we need to cut our designer series paper. So let me bring that in. So I have a piece of six by six designer series paper. And this is the way that I want it to look on my card. I want it to be angled that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it so the top is over here at four inches. And I'm going to cut it at four inches. We're going to use this part for our card. And this part you can save. That is the best way to cut your designer series paper for this gift card holder. That way you're not going to waste anything. If you cut it differently, you're going to end up with a lot of little pieces. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it this way. So now I have the six inch piece up at the top and I am going to cut one piece at two and three fourths and a piece at two and a quarter. And that leaves me with one inch. So these are the pieces that we need to make our card. Okay, so let's bring our card base back in. So here it is opened and it folds like that and it folds like that. So this is the front of our card and we're going to glue the large designer series paper on the front just like that. Then our smaller piece of designer series paper is going to go 
on the next piece. That's going to be on the inside just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Before I go any further, I just wanted to mention I did change up my premiere times um, to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm trying a couple different times um, because I want to try to get as many people as possible watching my premiere when it goes live. If you don't know the difference between a premiere and a live, the only difference is a premiere is pre-recorded, and then I'm right here with you when it goes live, and we can still chat and comment over in the chat box. Um, I like to pre-record them because I'm finding a great interest that in my short videos. So I edit out all of the boring stuff, all of the, and I fast forward through the gluing and things like that. So my videos are nice and short, but I get, you still get to see everything and how to make the card. So I hope you are enjoying the shorter videos. Go ahead and let me know. If you're watching me live, go ahead and say hi. And if you're watching me on replay, say hi. Let me know where you guys are watching me from. I always find that very interesting. Also, let me know what time you like to sit down and watch my premiere. I know a lot of people do watch my replay, which is wonderful, which is great. Um, but I'm always curious to know who's with me live and what is the best time for you. That would help me out. Okay, so let's continue. So now we're going to bring in the tear and tape. And we're going to put a piece of tear and tape at the top and the bottom right up to the score line. Okay, this is creating our gift card holder. Before I glue that down or before I tape that down, I'm going to bring in my one inch hole punch. I'm going to punch a little half hole right there and that's going to be the indicator of where our gift card is for the recipient. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and go in half, half, halfway, half the circle and same thing top to bottom, kind of look, make it even. And that's it. So now we can take this tear and tape off and attach it to our card. And just like that, we have a spot for our gift card. It goes in just like that. Okay, but we have a lot of decorating and pretty stuff to do with this card. So let's continue. So this is going to be our inside stamping piece. And um, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's do the front of our card. So let me bring in my two circles. And I'm going to go ahead and glue those together. And we bring in our balloons. And the stamp set has this little deco, this little decorated balloon here with a little confetti type look on it. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on our balloons to, just to make them look kind of fun and festive. So I'm going to stamp the lemon lime twist and lemon lime, the azure afternoon one in azure afternoon. And I think I might just leave that one plain. We'll see when I get to that point. Now this die, this stamp is made for the bigger balloon, but I think it looks just fine. On any, on any of the balloons. I'll show you what I mean. So it kind of gives it just a real faint texture. It kind of makes it look kind of fun and interesting, right? So I'm going to clean my stamp off and ink it back up in the Azure Afternoon. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with the Berry Burst. It's kind of dark. We'll see how it shows up. It shows up really well. I like it. So that's going to be really cute on our card. Okay, so these are going to go on our circle, kind of like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pop up the bigger one with some dimensionals. The balloons are pretty with this designer series paper. I mean, even that, a balloon like with that, look how pretty. Or the little confetti or the stripes. So you can use either side, whatever you think looks best on your card. Okay, I want this one to go underneath, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down. Whoops, I want that to go underneath. And then this one is going to go right there. So I do need a piece of dimensional on the right side so it stays as high as the green balloon. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue our number on here. Okie dokie, so far so good, right? So this is going to go on the front of our card like that. So I'm kind of looking to see how these tassels are going to fit. And they're going to be fine. And I think I'm going to put a bow on the very burst one. So I'm just going to attach these with a glue dot. Oh, I 
think I'll do glue. It'll be fine. We'll put glue right at the base of our balloon. Okay, I'm going to let that set for a while. We'll come back to this in a second. I want to bring this piece back in because we're going to do something really, really fun with this piece here. I just want to make sure it's the same length as my card. It's just a little tiny bit longer. Okay, so I'll make sure that the angles are going the same, the same way as my the front of my card. And I'm going to bring in this piece right here. And we're going to create a real fun fringe look on our card. Okay, so the way I want to cut this is, this is one inch wide. This is about three quarters of an inch wide. So I am going to go ahead and put the die way over to the right. And it's going to kind of overlap on the back. Just like that. And that way it's going to make sure to loosen up all my fringe. So I got about a quarter of an inch over here and the rest of the die, it's way over to the right of my one inch wide piece of designer series paper. So I'm going to go ahead and run that through the cutting machine and I will be right back. Okay, so let's see how that turned out. So I like to use these little post-it tapes when I'm using my dies to make sure they don't move sometimes. Sometimes you don't, you need them, sometimes you don't. So I'm going to take this off. And see, it's all cut and fringed. Now, if you didn't move it over far enough, this would be solid, and you just would have to trim it just a little bit with your scissors or a paper cutter. But that works really well. And now we have some pretty fringe, and that's going to go right there. But not yet, because we're going to, we have a few more other things before we attach that. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of stamping here on the inside, and I'm going to attach some stars on the inside. So let's bring in our cutout stars, and they're going to go over here like this but I'm going to go ahead and stamp something on that star right there so I'm going to put yay you so let's stamp that in blueberry bushel fun I love this card so far okay so you can put your stars wherever you think they look cute I'm going to move this I don't want to put it right there because it would be lemon lime twist right up on top of lemon lime i think it shows up better down here so i'm going to kind of do something like that and i'm just going to glue them down really getting festive right <laughs> okay so for this piece on the inside let me show you the stamp set i'm going to stamp let's get our celebration on and i'm going to stamp happy birthday and i'm going to do those um, both in blueberry bushel. So this is going to go around the front. just want to make sure that my stamping inside is hidden behind that circle so you don't see it when the card is closed. So I'm just going to kind of have to stamp right in the middle there. And then happy birthday. So I'm going to stamp happy birthday in berry burst. I was going to do it in the lemon lime twist, but I think I really want it to be a little bit bolder. So hopefully I like the way this looks when we're done. I do, but I want it centered a little bit better. So I'm going to do that again. So I think this time I'm going to stamp happy birthday first. And then let's get our celebration on. That's easier for me to line it up. There, that's better. Did you see the difference? Let me show you real quick. So this one I stamped that first and I could I didn't line up the happy birthday. I didn't center it as well as I liked. So this way I had the big bold happy birthday there and it was easier for me to line it up. So there you go. A little tip we all learn together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this piece down. And I'm going to glue this piece down. I'm going to kind of ruffle these up a little bit so they show up a little bit better. And when I glue it, there's just a nice little edge there to, to put the glue on. Oh, that looks really cute. I like that so much. Okay, let's finish the front. So this is going to go right there. So I just need to put glue on the left side only. And the easiest way, I think, to do that is to flip it over and line it up where you think it's going to go. 
and go ahead and put your glue on there. That way you can see the area that you don't want to put glue on. I'm going to put my finger here as a little guide. Okay. I made a little bow ahead of time, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on. This is the Sweet Sorbet um, ribbon. I'm going to put that on with the glue dot. Okay, now I need to shorten these a little bit because they're hanging over the edge of the card. Just like that. Still looks really, really cute. Okay, so there's our third milestone birthday card. If you missed my other two, you can always go back and watch them. In fact, one will be popping up here right at the bottom of your screen where you can click on it and go watch the last one I did. But here is our birthday card, gift card holder combination. Gift card fits right in there. And I love all this fringe and the stars. You could even add a couple more stars on the front if you'd like. But I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? So go ahead and leave me your comments. Don't forget to let me know your favorite time to watch premieres. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you spending some time with me. And I will see you next time. Don't be shy. Stamp and shout.